I'm Constance Alviac and I will present the interaction between the impact of COVID-19 and demographic characteristics on sexual erectile dysfunction in Latin American individuals. This was a cross-sectional study. We had the support of CAPES and FAPEMIC and we want to verify uh, whether there is in, an interaction between the impact of COVID-19 pandemic and demographic factors over erectile sexual function in Latin American population. So we recruited through social media people over 18 years old and we interviewed it between July and August 2020 by online surveys in Portuguese and Spanish. Uh, the erectile sexual function was evaluated through the following questionnaires, International Index of Erectile Function and Female Sexual Function Index, while post-traumatic stress disorder triggered by the COVID-19 pandemic was assessed through the impact of event scale revised. The data was analyzed via T student Viva rate and multivariate logistic regression with significance by the world test using our software. Out of 2,016 individuals that responded to the survey, uh, 1,986 were included and 743 of them presented erectile sexual dysfunction. Post-traumatic stress disorder occurrence was graded uh, in people with erectile sexual dysfunction, both in the total score and in the three domains. Was analyzed the interaction between post-traumatic stress disorder and uh, erectile sexual function, and we found a statistical difference over marital status of those who are married or cohabitating. The impact of each domain in sexual function over marital status was also observed with avoidance, hyperarousal, and intrusion. So this study demonstrated that the COVID-19 pandemic triggered post-traumatic stress disorder with a negative interaction between the impact of event scale revised over the erectile sexual function in Latin American population. Higher scores in this questionnaire were inversely proportional to the erectile sexual function questionnaires, meaning that those who presented higher post-traumatic stress disorder had a greater chance of presenting erectile sexual dysfunction and vice versa. So individuals that do not live with their partners presented greater prevalence of erectile sexual dysfunction, all through the COVID-19 pandemic had greater impact over erectile sexual function of those who live with their partners, regardless of gender and other demographic factors. Regarding marital status, our study identified a higher impact in relation of avoidance and hyperarousal in the sexual function of married and cohabitating individuals, while the impact of intrusion domain was the same regardless of the living or not with a partner. So there is an interaction between the COVID-19 pandemic impact and erectile sexual function. Individuals that do not live with their partners presented higher prevalence of sexual dysfunction. However, the pandemic triggered greater impact over the erectile sexual function of people who are cohabitating with their partners. For our knowledge, this is the first study about sexual function in COVID-19 times in Latin America, and more attention is needed for this population, in a special trying to include not just heterosexual people. Future studies should search for alternatives of online solutions and treatments for the people affected in their sexual function by the COVID-19 pandemic and apply it in these times and after the pandemic ends. Thank you.